Hello everyone, myself Uddesh and you are watching the channel Computer Techies. Today we will discuss about a topic that is the DHCP Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Let's start with the name Configuration. Host and Configuration. It clears that we are configuring the host. Let's discuss for the word to configure or to allocate an IP address it is do, uh, divides the allocation into two parts. First one, it is the static allocation and the another one is the dynamic allocation. In static allocation, administrator manually selects an IP to assign to the host, example bootp and rarp. These are the two protocols used in the early days to allocate an IP address to the host while nowadays we are using DHCP that is the dynamic host configuration protocol. In, uh, in dynamic allocation server dynamically assigns an IP address to the host. Example of it, it is the DHCP which I have told you earlier. Let's discuss the, something more about the static allocation. What is the static allocation? In the static allocation, the administrator manually has to assign an IP address to the host. He manually has to type that IP address in the configuration box and which will be then allocated to the host. This system has the several drawbacks. To overcome these drawbacks, we have switched to the next concept of the dynamic allocation. Before that, let's discuss about the drawbacks of static allocation. First one. Security risk from hackers when IP is constant. It is very easy to understand that when a particular IP remains constant for the host, then it will be easier for the hacker to hack that the permanent IP address. Though after the recovery of that hacking or after the recovery of that threat, it will be easier for the hacker to hack again that IP address because of that permanent tag. So a question arises: the security because of the static allocation. The next one it comes that the configuration. It is the process which is manual and complex. This is the another drawback that the process is manual that the administrator manually has to type that IP address and assign that IP address to the host which is time consuming and a complex process. So the next uh, drawback is that the IP conflict. IP conflict, it is the most important drawback of the static allocation that the two different hosts may get the same address. Let's understand this in a diagrammatic way. Consider the host A with uh, IP address 192.168.5.59 while the host B with uh, IP address 192.168.5.59. In both the cases, look at the IP addresses. 192.168.5.59 is same for both the hosts. This terminology is, this situation is termed as the IP conflict. Because of which the server may get confused that which host is requesting for data or which host uh, is requesting for another any other purpose. So that the none of these hosts will get the actual or the correct data and the confusion will get created. So to overcome these all the drawbacks of the static allocation, we introduce a new concept that is the DHCP which comes under the dynamic allocation of IP addresses. Look at the short form DHCP. It is it describes the dynamic host configuration protocol. Most of the times people get confused in the full form of the abbreviation C. It is for the configuration, not for control. Most of the time we hear the full form that dynamic host control protocol. It is completely wrong. It is dynamic host configuration protocol. Before starting with our DHCP, 
one must understand some terminologies. Let's start with the first, that is the range of DHCP server. The range of IP addresses which DHCP server can allocate it is nothing but the range of that DHCP server. For example, consider a DHCP server with starting address x.x.x.1 .x .x and the last address x.x.x.100. .x .x then this from IP address x.x.x.1 to 100 is the range of that DHCP server means that DHCP server can allocate the IP address to 100 different hosts. This is nothing but the range of that DHCP server. Let's come forward. It comes the DHCP table. DHCP table or we may say that it is a database containing information regarding IP addresses, host and a lease period. Have a look on the DHCP table. We have the three different columns respective IP address, host name and the lease period. The first entry is 192.168.5.5 is the IP address assigned to host A for a lease period of one year. Similarly, 192.168.5.50 it is the IP address assigned to host B for the lease of two year. This is the DIT. DHCP table. Now you will ask what is the lease period? Let's come to the next that is the lease period. It is the time period for which particular IP address is allocated for particular host. Means it is the time bound for which one can use that IP addresses. Once the lease period over one need to renew that lease period or that IP will get back into the pool of the IP address from where it comes through DHCP. It is the lease period is the most important factor in the dynamic host configuration protocol. Because of this lease period, the many of the drawbacks which arise because of the static allocation get overcome. 